Hello everyone. Uh, well, today I'm going to continue the retelling of the book um, that is called Outlier by Malcolm Gladwell. And uh, there is a second part of the um, of the third chapter, uh, the troubles with geniuses. And today we will try to understand what. Um, what does interfere with geniuses to become the outliers? Specifically, specifically, we will look at the experiment of one sociologist, Annette Leroux, and two um, impressive geniuses that are called Robert Oppenheimer and Chris Landon. Um, as I announced in my third chapter, I told you about Chris Landon. But unfortunately, in spite of his um, intellectual talents, in spite of his the high level of IQ, he is only considered as a celebrity outlier. But he hasn't become neither profession, uh, neither professor, and he hasn't got the even the PhD degree at the university. Mm, well, and. Uh, we will try to understand what was the cause and reason which um, didn't, have, didn't give him the opportunity to apply his knowledge and to become the uh, real outlier. Well, um, let's talk a little bit about biography of Chris Landon and uh, the places of his studying. Chris Landon was born in the very poor family. He had three brothers, but he was the only one boy who was very clever. Um, his mother, so honestly, she didn't participate in his uh, privileged upbringing, so she she was passive, and she didn't try to develop his uh, talent. I mean, his genius's talents. Um, well, talking about Chris' father, actually he had, his father disappeared, but after that he had three stepfather, and the last uh, one, his name was Jack, he was a failure journalist, who paid no attention to his stepson, and uh, what is more important, he always preferred to punish Chris when he was a little boy. Um, when Chris Landon had graduated the school, he got uh, scholarships to the two universities, Reed College and Bozeman University. Um, he went to the Reed College, but unfortunately, the Reed College, instead of making their children study, they made them to work at the ranch. So they didn't have the appropriate isolation for such geniuses as Chris Landon. Um, when he uh, was ready to graduate the Reed College, he had one problem with financial assessment and uh, therefore uh, his mother, um, she had to sign this kind of financial assessment and therefore the problem would be solved. But unfortunately, his mother, as I told, she was passive and she didn't do that. Chris Landon was dropped out from Reed College University. From the, sorry, from the Reed College. After that, he... Uh, he was admitted to the Bozeman University, which was located in New York City. And again, uh, there weren't the relevant opportunities and conditions to help Chris Landon develop his skills and show them to the world that he was able to learn and do more than the others. Because usually, um, as Chris Landon told his sort of friends, 
the students we, which um, studied with them, they spend uh, the uh, they spend time being at the parties, and they didn't care about education as Chris Landon did. Um, then, in the process of studying, Chris Landon. Um, bumped with another problem, car problem. Um, he had some troubles uh, when uh, he had his lessons in the morning. He wasn't able to get to the university at a time and therefore he asked his... Um, because of the car problem. And therefore he asked his uh, teachers to transfer the lessons from the morning to the lunch time. His request was denied and Chris Landon twice um, was dropped out from the Bozeman University. Uh, well, after that occurrences, he started to find some gigs just to earn some money. Nevertheless, he had been working on one um, sort of project which is called the, cogni the um, cognitivistic theory sorry the cognitive theoretic model of the universe where he described his ideas about philosophy and physics and sort of uh, sciences uh, where he was interested in um, when he was working in different um, gigs, in different milieu, he um, tried to publish. Uh, he was uh, trying to publish his um, his own work, but nobody believed him, and that is obvious. And because. Um, as you could imagine, Chris Landon was dropped out from the two universities. He uh, didn't have nor um, bachelor degree, high diploma, neither PhD degree. So uh, who could believe him? Um, well, um, in the case of Chris Landon, here we see that he was a real genius, but nobody could appreciate it. But what Chris Landon could do or what he could change um, or maybe get some skill allow he allows him to become the outlier in the physics or in the philosophy. Um, well, I will try to explain it uh, to you through the my um, retelling and uh, through the another biography of uh, about Robert Oppenheimer. Robert Oppenheimer is a professor in the theoretic physics. Robert Oppenheimer was born in the Velsi family, so. Um, as you can imagine, his parents tried to give him the all opportunities and abilities to improve his talent in physics and to implement his skills into the life of, of university or school. So actually, Robert Oppenheimer uh, participated uh, in his early ages, he participated in the different um, university projects and even he was offered to conduct one lecture about physics. Mm. But there was one very interesting situation um, and maybe a little bit despondent because Robert Oppenheimer hated one lesson which was called the experimental physics. As he hated that kind of subject, he tried to poison his own tutor. Mm. But thanks to 
his opportunities maybe thanks to his parents um, he wasn't dropped out from the Cambridge University where he studied at that moment um, in addition to that he was sent just to the psychiatrist uh, in London um, and uh, Robert Oppenheimer was always in depression which was the another reason why he uh, why he was sent to the psychiatrist. Nevertheless, Robert Oppenheimer now is considered as a professor, as an outlier in um, theoretic physics, and uh, he was a supervisor of the very famous Manhattan Project, um, which makes him um, in some kind of outlier. Um, Well, here we see that Robert Oppenheimer had not only analytical intelligence, not only IQ level as Chris Landon had, but the practical intelligence. I mean, his opportunities, his ability to understand how to apply his knowledge, when to apply them and whom to tell them, that kind of ability um, allows him to um, get his purpose um, and therefore he became the professor, the player in the uh, physics. Uh, to, um, to make it more clear, let me offer you another example uh, it was an experiment which was conducted by Annette Laurie uh, so she it is famous sociologist she chose uh, sorry um, she took some children uh, black and white children and sent them to the 12 families because she tried to understand how family, I mean, how upbringing uh, um, can contribute to the life um, of the children. How family could help or, or family even doesn't help. So she tried to understand it. What kind of role family um, what kind of role does family take? Um, well, when she sent one girl to the poor family, um, girl's name was Katie. And Katie, uh, she was captivated from singing. She sang a lot. But her parents paid no attention to that. They, um, they saw that it uh, was her childish tricks. And uh, they didn't try to participate in her privileged upbringing and to improve her skill. I mean, skill in singing. And all what she had, uh, I mean, the opportunities which could help her to sing better and to become maybe the outlier in the singing, the only opportunity was um, to sing in the choir and, uh, um, and that's all. But on the other hand, the children from wealthy family that kind of family, I mean the middle class and the wealthy family, they tried to um, they tried to use the concerted cultivation. They tried to um, participate as much as it was possible in the uh, upbringing of their children. They tried to pay a lot of attention to their children. They saw that 
it wasn't a deal of natural growth and children shouldn't be independent from the early ages they of course they have to be independent but nevertheless they should know that uh, they could rely on different people because um, those people could help them sometimes and um, they should have the sense of entitlement the sense which allows them to stay um, to stay their own opinion and to s show uh, ourselves as a person and what's more important the children from the wealthy family they were active they always were fa active they had the sense of entitlement uh, thanks to the concerted cultivation when parents see the talents and interest of their children and they apply a lot of efforts to help their children to become the outliers in um, um, in the different realms well um, contrary to that the poor families they thought it is a deal of natural growth i mean the natural growth takes the uh, um, the great uh, place in the um, growing of their children in the in their destiny and prophecy and they always thought that it is their children should be independent and parents they didn't have the opportunity to help their children to achieve some goals because it is a deal of the children but unfortunately there are four children they always were passive as chris landon was as uh, his mother was she was passive mm, on the other hand the children from wealthy families and their parents they always were active um well and here we could uh see the main differences between the upbringing of wealthy and poor families which um, that kind of factors differentiate them between each other each other and uh, parents should uh, understand this kind of different uh, differences and try to use that kind of knowledge in the upbringing of their children to help them to become such kind of outliers mm. well each person uh, so in my opinion each person uh, wants to be happy and each person want, wants to realize his talent and each person wants to um, use this talent, use his interest as a work. And therefore, to, when a person likes his job, when he likes his um, talent, when he applies his talent to the real life, he absolutely could become the outlier and in that case what she or he has to do is to apply the um, practical intelligence and analytical intelligence mm, because it isn't a deal of natural growth i mean the analytical intelligence yes it comes it is inborn but the practical intelligence it is a deal of parents it is a deal of their upbringing and you have to know not only the knowledge i mean um, the huge amount of knowledge but you should know how to apply them when to apply them and how to um how to create such kind of isolation to improve your knowledge improve your talent um and uh, it will 
absolutely help you to become the outlier. So, uh, well, thank you for your attention and I will see you in our next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> thank you.